So here's an old industry that Israel was always great in, agriculture. We're always good in agriculture. But now we have precision agriculture. You know what that is? See that drone in the sky? He's connected to a big database. And there are sensors in the field. And in the field, there's drip irrigation and drip fertilization. And now we can target with this technology the water that we give, the fertilizer that we give, down to the individual plant that needs it. That's precision agriculture. That's Israel. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know, we were always good in water. I want you to see how good we are. So we recycle almost 90% of our wastewater. The next country with less than 20% is Spain. You can see how Israel, what it does for water, what it does for the environment. So when you take these two things, agriculture and water, and the other technologies that we apply in both, we can change the world. We are. We are. I just heard about an African woman in Africa has to walk eight hours a day to give water to her children. Four hours one way to a well, four hours back. And a young Israeli company brought in this technology that improves on Moses. Remember Moses? He brought water from a rock. They bring water from thin air. They bring water to Africa, to millions of people in Africa. Israeli technology. And I was just recently in India. That's my friend, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Great friend. I'm showing him cherry tomatoes. This is in Gujarat, India. This is Israeli technology. And what I heard there was fantastic. Farmers came from the region. There's an experimental farm there and a place where Israel gives technology, know-how, to Indian farmers. 65% of, India, 65 of India's population are farmers. And one farmer after the other gets up and says, because of Israeli technology, I've increased my crop yields and my income three times, four times, five times. Israel is changing the world in India, in Asia, in Africa, in Latin America, everywhere.